peace. Hello, hello, hello. So, I want to do... I kind of want to, like, pedal all the way back to the beginning um, with Nicola Bully and Paul Anzel and the whole timeline. I've never went over the timeline. And I did see some conflicting things. Um, and just little things that were subtle but caught my attention. So, that's what we're doing today. So, if that's not what you're into, that's okay. So, it, I did look up... In the UK, where she lived, what time school starts for the children? And it starts at 8.45, okay? Um, it says she was spotted with no proof. Um, spotted walking wire after dropping off kids at 8.43. So, I don't know if this... Um, she was spotted, was like from afar, where it could have been anybody walking Nicola's dog, um, somebody dressed as her, like we don't know because there's no actual proof, it's all just word of mouth and hearsay, right? <clears throat> then it says, um, and I took a picture, let me, let me pull up the picture before we get into that, um, that apparently there was a text, and I do this because, once again, we don't know that Nicola actually sent that text. It could have been somebody that was very familiar with her phone and her friends that sent this text. But this text conflicts everything, and I'll tell you why in a second. The baby is with her daddy. Okay, screenshots. So it starts off saying in in this um my baby, I love her. Um I don't you're probably not gonna be able to see that, but right hold on. Right here, hold on, right there, it says 920. I'm just gonna read this to you. Okay. The 45-year-old was last seen on Friday, the 27th of January, at around 9.20 a.m. So, she was seen. We're going to do little quotations for all of this because, again, there's no proof that it was her. Okay? So, just follow me. So, I have that written off to the side of the timeline. Okay? And you'll see why in a second. So... Let's go back to being um, seen by the wire at 843, okay? And then at 857, okay, she texts for a play date with a friend. Now, remember that, a play date, okay? At 901, she, she quotations, because we don't know, 100% that she logged in. It could have been somebody that was very familiar with her routine, okay? Um, she logs into her Zoom conference for her job, right? At 9.10, quotations again, she was seen by a walker. How far away were you that you seen her, okay? Um, but then it goes on to show, and I'll show you right here. So this was part of... This was the very beginning of the thing that I'm using for the timeline. And then we get to here. And now we have a 920 here. And it should say a walker seen her, right? But it don't. What it says, <clears throat> excuse me, is that her mobile phone is linked to the area of a bench by the wire. Huh? So now instead of 9.20, somebody sees her walking. Now it's 9.10. And now it's at 9.20, her phone was linked to the bench. But I highly doubt that they can pinpoint the exact, the exact spot she was at. It would give you a roundabout area. Yeah, she was around that area. Yeah. But to say she, it's linked to the bench. What? Okay, fine. Let's keep on going. Um, but I do need to pull this down here just to talk about it after. Okay. Um, so 9.30, her Zoom call is ended, okay, on 
the job side on their end. They end their, their live, whatever. Um, but she never logs off. So this is literally 29 minutes. And she never logs off. But at 9.10 and 9.20, she was seen. So you're telling me in a 10 minute frame, she just vanished by 933. They find a dog. So that would tell me. Within about eight minutes, they found a dog, but not Nicola. If she would have fell in that water, she would have been right there. Very visible. She wouldn't have been floating down, drifting anywhere because it was shallow. Right. My baby is so excited. <laughs> um, it says dog found at 9.33, but then it says at 9.35, the dog and the phone was found. So you're talking not even a 10-minute time frame of her poof, apparently, uh, 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 um, what's the word, allegedly just disappearing. And I'm saying allegedly not to protect myself, but because we don't know these as facts, right? Um... And then by 10.50, that's over an hour, they called Paul. By 11 o'clock, she was reported missing. So you're telling me that from the time 9.10 to 9.30, she went missing in that little time. So that's only... I'm sorry. And the phone was found by 920. So, so <laughs> they see her. She disappears. Find a phone. Find a dog. Wait an hour. Call Paul. And immediately reported missing. Now, you can't just report somebody missing. You got to wait like 48 hours. Now, I don't know <clears throat> if that's the same in the UK, but I can find out one moment. So you don't have to wait to report it, okay? You don't have to wait 24 hours. Um, you can make the report to the police as soon as you think the person is missing. Um, so, yeah. My thing is... The play date is sticking out to me, and I'll tell you why. And then <clears throat> Paul's first words to the police are like huge red flags for me, personally. Um, and then there's some other stuff I want to talk about. So, first of all, what were Paul's first words to the police? We all know these words. She's soon mm -hmm, right? She's, right? She, right? You understand? Um, she's depressed because of menopause she's an alcoholic because of menopause right and we've talked about this all before if you felt she was like this if you felt she was depressed if you felt she was mm -hmm, okay why would you allow and feel so comfortable allowing your children to take these drives with the mother and whatever else if she was this big old drunk why did you allow the children to get in the car with her uh, supposedly okay um Paul's first words were, I think she's in the water, right? That's why everybody was checking the water. Um, and she's drunk. She's the the crazy, you know, she wants to sign and, you know, all this other harsh things. <sighs> right. And to me, it brings me back to the Kylie Rodney case. A lot of people follow me with that case. And when I first saw Jagger Westfall's interview and they said, hey, we're going to go to Reno and look for her because that's her favorite spot. I said, guys, she is in the opposite direction of that. She is in the opposite direction of that going to Reno drive with the news people. OK, to me, that was more of a date with with Kylie's friends. OK, but I feel the same way about this. I feel like it's exactly the opposite of what he was claiming. Why? Well, I'll tell you why. So if he says, hey, 
She's crazy. She she's out of her mind. Oh my god! I can't believe she's she's suicidal. She's a drunk. You know she she gonna commit suicide and jump in the two feet of water. Yeah, right. It was to make everybody go that way. Right. Now he's had time. So let's just say. That wasn't her dropping off the children. What if he put the kids in and said, look, don't talk to mommy. She's in a bad mood. She's not going to talk to you right now. She's upset. So the kids just, you know, they're on their tablets and stuff in the back of the car. They get dropped off, never actually get to see their mother's face. Why? Because she's like this. The big coat, right? She's like this. Kids can't see in the back, right? So... This is just a let's just say we're examining, okay? We're not speculating. We're examining a full situation. Um, this whole text of a play date. Well, a play date, I feel that text was sent by whoever um, had her phone at that time. Whoever was supposed to plant it over there to say, look, she was over here. Look, my big blue coat. Look, the same dog, you know. Um made a text to a friend talking about a play date. But having a play date shows me that she has intentions on living out that day, not suicidal, okay? So again, opposite, just like Kylie Rodney. You look over here while I clean up over here, okay? Um, I'm, I'm assuming, now I'm assuming I'm speculating. It's okay, it's my speculation. Um, whatever happened to Nicola probably happened upstairs, not downstairs in the living room. You know what I'm saying? Like that. I'm, I'm I guarantee you there's probably an upstairs and a downstairs. I don't know their house. This is my assumption. Um, happened upstairs. He cleans up the best he can upstairs, puts her away somewhere upstairs. Okay. And then the police come to his house because he said, yeah, they got there so fast. Like he was upset about the police coming to his house so fast. And we're going to review his, his thing again, because I feel like there's so much more to it. Okay. Um, there's more I want to talk about too. So we're talking about Paul's first words and why everybody went to the wire. Yeah. The dog was found there. But this could be a diversion. And he speaks about diversions. That, um, he speaks about di distracting the children. So he, he understands about diversions. You look here while I clean up here. Okay. Um, I want to get into this big part here. But, all right, let's just get into it. So what I noticed with Emma and Paul, right, is Emma is tailing along Paul Every interview, every phone call of, hey, come down here. Emma's there. Emma's there with Paul. Emma's there with Paul. Emma's there with Paul. Emma's there with Paul. Emma's over here with Paul. Emma's over here with Paul. Right? But my question is, yes, that's your friend. But wouldn't you want your husband to go with Paul to support a man? Why would a female tag along everywhere in this investigation with Paul, the friend? She's a friend, yeah. But why are you tagging along with Paul everywhere? Wouldn't you say, you know what, babe? I'm going to stay with my children. Please go help Paul find her. Please let me know every detail. Please go out there looking for her. Because they didn't look for her. They didn't. He said, I looked this way, I looked that way, and I looked over here. But you didn't actually go over there. You skimmed. You skimmed the surroundings. Oh, I don't see her. So why are you really there, Emma? You're putting full glam on. I got some makeup on. Got little eyelashes. Boom. Okay. But Emma's in like full cakey ass makeup. <clears throat> Only Emma's tagging along. The parents didn't tag along. Her husband's not tagging along. Her other friend came out for an interview that I just saw. Um, but why is Emma 
tagging along like a little puppy dog everywhere. There's some type of bond there. There's some type of cahoots. I'm telling you. Okay, so I want to get into the video. Hold on. Now, please forgive me if my demeanor changes. This interview irks me. It hits something in my brain that I can not hold back, okay? Um, this interview disgusts me. <sighs> Let me stop talking about it. All right, so I'm going to just show you little pieces from my phone, but it's more about listening to what he says, but I'm going to be watching his reactions as well. I wanted to point out that I also noticed um, after I did the other one, like this, um, and I posted it, then I realized something else, but I wasn't able to put it in the video because the video was already posted. I noticed that Paul was mimicking the, the man interviewing him, the way he would sit, the way he would position himself, the way he would posture himself. If he leaned in, Paul leaned in. And to me, that tells me you're not being authentic. You have to copy because you're unsure of how you're supposed to be acting. If you're unsure of how you're supposed to be acting, there's only one reason. Guilt. Yeah? Okay. So let's just listen. I'll, I'll, I'll show you if, if it lets me. Oh. I got my window back there, so yeah kids <laughs> you saw that right mm -hmm. all right today is, is two weeks since nikki went missing this might be a stupid question to start with but how are you doing so guilty look What's at his face like i'm sorry days? um hell i um so he immediately says hell his life is hell right i'm trying to get it where you can see yeah. Still here, obviously. We already spoke about that. Just... I'm still here. Like, I didn't get arrested. I'm still here. And to prove that point, he's about to say something else. It's, it's the children. Always has been. So I'm sorry. He's speaking in partial sentences. He's scared to speak. Okay, he's scared to speak because he might say too much. He might say too little. So let's just listen to that sentence one more time because hold on, we'll get there. Stupid question to start with, but how are you doing? What's life been like for the last two weeks? Um, hell, I am um, still here, obviously. My main focus is, is the children. I am um, still here. That don't even make sense. That's not a sentence. I am um, still here. <sighs> He's doing that to confuse you. What I feel he wanted to say was, the police didn't catch me. I'm still here, bitches. You understand? Hold on. Maybe not like that, but... Still here, obviously. My main focus is, is the children. Always has been. So, so his main focus, now get this, because I put some shit together. His main focus, let's write that down. Main focus. Ooh, that just spit. Is the children. Because he says something, and I wrote that down here. Going. I'm gonna put it all together. You know how we do. <laughs> My focus that gets me through. Um, but you know, the, the, well, I think when you're going through something like this, thinking you can't, you can't put it into words. I can't say how I'm doing. I can't really explain it because it's not your every average every day of the you know thing. Nobody knows really anybody who's ever gone through anything like this. Who knows any? Nobody knows what he's going through. There's plenty of people that have lost children, missing, deceased, alive. 
plenty of people that have been through this. My child, my oldest child, was kidnapped when she was six months old. I know about missing children, um, which feels way worse than a missing adult. Okay, I'm not trying to say, you know, uh, this is bigger than this. Not like that. I'm just saying the, the hurt in the heart when it's a child that you know can't fend for themselves out in the world is a heavier, heavier feeling. Okay, so this whole I can't tell you how I feel. You know, you don't want to tell us how you feel because your real feelings you don't want to put out there because... Nope, just Nicola. I think that's the thing because it's hard to imagine what you're going through. Can you even put it into words for us, the sort of emotions you're feeling at the moment? Listen. Oh, commercial, hold on. Anger. Utter frustration. Confusion. Disbelief. Surrealism. Nothing feels real. I was going to ask you that. It just, it, what feels like? Anger, frustration, confusion. He got to throw the confusion. Because I'm too confused. I didn't know what happened, right? Confused, right? So you're telling me anger, frustration, you know, all that stuff that brings those eyebrows here. Here. Anger. <clears throat> frustration. Oh, I can't get it. Look, it's still there, okay? And then he's about to say some more. But I thought you just couldn't explain it. Now you're explaining, but you couldn't explain it two seconds ago. Why? Because you need time to think about everything you're saying. To make sure it fits your narrative. That's why you can't just spit words out. You know, I don't know how I'm feeling. I can't explain it. But then you come out and give us five, six different emotions. Hmm. Okay, keep going. In someone else's life or how does it, it feel? It just doesn't feel real. You ever seen the Truman Show? Well, I feel like I'm in a Truman Show. Hmm. Like, I honestly believe I'm going to wake up at, at any moment. Lie. Um, he knows. He knows. Yeah, it's just. He knows. I was just talking to Louise before, you know, um, Nick's sister, and we both just say the same thing every day. Just, how are we even in the. We both say the same thing every day. How are we in this? How are we in this? You're not in this unless you were in it. Hmm? Nicola's in this. Yes. You know, we're good people. We are good people. Watch him. We're good people. We try to live the best life that we can do. Oh, yeah. Nicola says that a lot. We're good people. We're good people. Like, please believe me, we're good people. And they call, call it in the ITC, be like, yeah, living your best life, right? Mm, okay. Let's keep going. Do the right thing by everybody. Um, Except for her. We appreciate the small things. Oh, yeah, just like Chris yeah. Watts, right? Chris Watts, thank you. Thank you. We got the best people looking. Um, Trezell. And Jackie West, we got the best people looking for them. Thank you. When my child was missing, I didn't thank nobody because nobody fucking found her. Hello. Oh, I ain't thank nobody. What the hell I'm thanking somebody for? Nobody found my baby. I felt like nobody was looking for my baby. Okay. Anyways, they found her. Like six months later, but anyways. It just this is the kind of thing that you see on the telly in in dramas Boom. And, um, and stuff like that. There you go. Hold on. Follow me here. This is important. So you're telling me you're angry, you're frustrated, right? A drama, a novella, right? Those are like cheating things, you know, um, betrayal things, right? Not missing person. A drama is not a missing person. That's not drama. 
That's not drama, okay? For him to explain this as a drama thing tells me he felt his house was frustrating. A bunch of drama in the house, okay? He says anger, drama, and then he's about to say this next part. Um, make it better for them, his kids, the kids, right? And distract them. His main focus, what did he say before, was the children. Oh, yeah, I believe that. I believe that. Why? <sighs> Get into this. He, he's about to say, he didn't say it yet. I did take notes for this little part. He has to distract the children. I believe him. He had to distract the children, probably gave them tablets when he was leaning in the car, whatever the case may be, right? He has to distract these children because there's so much commotion going on in that home, okay, that he has to distract the children. His main focus is those children, okay, and always has been, okay? So I have to make it better for them. This house is a living hell. What did he say? It was hell, make this household better for them I have to make this household better for them do you see me do you hear me do you feel it do you understand I believe pieces of what he's saying he does feel anger towards Nicola he does feel frustrated towards Nicola but he can't focus on that what? Nicola. He can't focus on Nicola because he has to distract the children. His main focus is the children and he has to make their life better. He has to make it better for the children. He has to stop the angry frustration in the household. He has to stop the drama. In the household. There's bits and pieces of truth in here. I'm a lie detector. A human lie. Not human. But I am a being. That understands these emotions. I've been through so much. And I'm so blessed to be here. With my head on straight. Okay. But I only believe that I survived all that. So I could point out all this. Okay? So you got anger, drama, frustration. I have to make it better for these kids. My question is, by taking her out of the situation and out of the home, did you just make it better for them? In your mind? Okay, let's keep going. You said that your main priority was the girls. Can I ask you how they're doing? Because, you know, you're missing the woman that you love, but they're missing their mom. And yeah, meanwhile, you don't even say her name. You are heartbreaking at the moment. Look at how red he is. Yeah, it's Can't. impossible. Um, it's impossible. Uh, anyone, any, well, any parent knows, you know, that... Um, all you want to do is is make everything better for your children, isn't it? You know, make everything better, better for your children, isn't it? He wants to make it all better for them. No more drama. No more anger. No more frustrations. No more the itchy news. Now my nose itches, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> hey. His demeanor, the way he's stuttering, the way he's spacing out his words. It shows me he needs time to think about what he's saying. Why do you need time to think about what you're saying if you already know what happened? I'm not saying of a murder. You know what I'm saying? Um, if it was true that she just went missing, 
All the information is here of what you know. You wouldn't have to take time to differentiate. I don't know how to say it, but separate. Okay, from this happening to as if this happened. And I'm going to prove that too. Just by his own words. Okay. <laughs> She's so happy. scared or anything like that. You just, you want to make it better for them. And I can't, you know, I can't do that. Um, and he looks down and he, and he, I can't do that. Oh, really? You can't? Really? Because your body's saying you did. Your entire aura, not just your aura, but your body language says you did. Why? I can't do that. No. Let's watch that part again. Watch. <laughs> I don't like you, Paul. Not even a little bit. Yeah, is it possible? Um, Drifting eyes. Uh, anyone, any, well, any parent knows, you know. Thinking. That, um, all you want to do is is make everything better for your children, isn't it? You know, whenever they're worried. He's or asking him a question. Or they're scared or, or anything like that. You just you want to make it better for them. Trying to and keep a steady hand. I can't. You know, I can't do that. Um, um. So all I all I can do is pause. Be as strong as I can so that they don't pause. See the level of like worry on pause. my face. Pause. Um, like. As much as they can. Like. You know, totally not believable. Pause. Well, we know, Did you just see him wrinkle his face? Mm. Let's go back. I gotta see that again. It, the level of worry, pause, hmm, what was I about to say, what can I say, what can I say that don't pertain to this part that actually happened, stop thinking over here and try to think over here, but I have to pause to try to put it together in my head as it's happening. And then, and then, and then try and distract them, you know, so, so that they're, pause. so that their mind's not focused on it. If pause. I the best way of doing it. They need hope, yeah. and you've got to hold on to that as, as tight as you can. Every time they ask you where mummy is, how, how do you, how does, how does anybody even convey that to when you're going through it as well? Again, it's just another, it's just an impossible situation. The only thing, the only thing that I can do is tell them that everybody is looking for mummy. The best people, like, in the world. The best people in the world, best people in the world, the best people in the world. If you didn't see it, Giselle and Jackie say the same thing. We got the best people looking for the boys. Mm-hmm, murderer. Um, then you got Chris Watts. We got the best people out there searching. Mm-hmm, murderer. Okay. No sympathy for murderers. Sorry. Just, just to give them that, you know, that, that level of hope. Did you see his eyes? Just to give them that, you know, level of hope. Well, that look you just gave, just said, give him that, you were, you, what I feel he wanted to say was give him, give them that, um, interpretation that she's not dead. But his eyes showed me. He knew she was already gone. Look, I'm not playing. Want to see it? For mommy. Just look. The best people like, in the world are looking for mommy. Um, Hold on. Through it as well. Again, it's just, another, it's just an impossible situation. The only thing, the only thing that I can do is tell them that everybody is looking for mommy. The best people like, in the world are looking for mommy. Um, just, just to give them that, that, you know, that, that level of hope that, that they can understand that everything that we're, that can, can be done to find money. <laughs> people watching on, Nikki is a face on a poster at the moment. Tell us a bit about her, you know, what's she like? 
She's a bitch. She was drama. She. She take my shit. Uh, fun. Fun. She is loving. Moving. She is. If you're friends with her, she is the the most loyal friend. That That's the truth. Has. That's the only truth I've heard so no, far. Hidden, hidden, hmm, hidden came out of your, your mind so quickly that you didn't stutter on, huh? But everything else you've been stuttering on. What I'm thinking has happened is that this whole thing is a setup. This whole thing is a distraction. Okay. In no possible way do I feel she was a drunk. In no possible way do I feel she was suicidal. Why? Because if she was such a drunk, you, as a father, would not allow your children to get in a car with her. One. Two, not suicidal. She made a whole freaking play date, supposedly, allegedly. Unless somebody knew her routines. They knew that this has already happened. Okay, and I'm going to text. Here's her her password and text this friend at this time. Once you get over there, text it. Hey, you want to make a play day? Great. Never answers that back, right? Um, it logs in. Okay, she has to work at this time. Hurry up, log in. Her password is blah, say blah. Do, 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 do. All right, now drop the phone. And leave the dog and walk away calmly and slowly and get out of there. I'll pick you up around the bend. That's my baby knocking. Hello? <laughs> I was surprised she didn't be like, Bae, mommy. Open. <laughs> I, knew, I was just going to say, I'm shocked she didn't say, Bae, open the door. <laughs> um, so where was I? I don't know, but the people that seen her, I highly doubt they actually came up and spoke to her. It was probably just from afar. Yeah, I saw somebody over there with a blue coat, right? Um, while all that's happening, Paul's back there cleaning up and hiding Nicola. Nicola. Still not sure how to pronounce that, her name. Um, Nikki. Because there's no possible way if the people that found her phone and this dog would not have seen her in the water right there. There was not enough time. Phone found at 9.20. That's what the timeline says. Phone found 9.20. Let me see. Let me just make sure. Double check. Because that is not enough time. Her Zoom call ends at 9.30 and the dog was found by 9.33. She would have been right there. She would have just slipped and fell into the water. She would have been visible. She would have been visible in two feet of water. She would have been visible. She would have still been right there, stuck and stagnant because the water was not a current. It wasn't a strong current. I'm sorry. I'm going to end this and then maybe we'll get more into it. I didn't realize it's been 40 minutes. 920 approximately. Her mobile phone is linked to the area of the bench by the river. I'm thinking it was placed there on purpose by another person posing with a blue jacket and her dog. Okay. Because I guarantee you Nick Nicola's shoe size the max was a six. What I saw in that picture, it looked like a good eight, eight and a half, nine. Okay. I do not believe those were Nic Nicola's boots at all. Um, Nicola is, I believe they said five, three. And to me, that would be like a five, six. Okay. Maybe a seven. But those shoes, those boots that I saw were more like an eight, nine. They look like boots. 
okay? My shoe size, 4'11 and a half, and I vary from a one and a half to a two and a half. Um, if I want to buy heels and stuff like that, I have to buy the smallest size they have and stuff them. <laughs> That's the only way I can wear heels because they don't make heels for children. Feet. <laughs> um, so yeah, I totally, I always thought she, she did go drop those kids off to school. I really, really, truly believe that. But now that I'm putting it all together, just putting it together by what he's saying, the timeline and what I'm seeing as he's saying these things, I don't think she was ever there. And why is Emma the only one tailing along with Paul? Why wouldn't she stay at home with her children and ask her husband to go with Paul and let the men go search for her in wooded areas and stuff like that? Well, I think I just answered my own question because Paul never actually looked for her. He went to the scene and he said, I looked this way, I looked this way, and I looked that way and checked over there. But you didn't say you actually walked over there. You didn't say you looked in bushes. You didn't say you looked anywhere. And I don't feel you did look anywhere. And I guarantee you there's no footage of you looking anywhere for her. Why? Because you knew she was back at the house upstairs. That's why when... Uh, I want to finish this, but it's so long already. I hate long videos. Um, well, I'm going to write it down for, for the next one. Hold on. Don't lose your train of thought. Oh, my God. Hold on one second. So I wrote it down for what I'm going to talk about for part two of this. Um, it creeped me out when he says, make it better for the kids, anger, drama, frustrations. Um, and my main focus is and always has been the children. And how he distracts them. See, a distraction to me <clears throat> is you go over there, plant this evidence. Okay? You go over there and plant this evidence. And I have to go clean up this area upstairs. And then I'm going to stop right there. Because that's going to be what we're going to be talking about tomorrow. Um, yeah, I don't want to give it away. Okay, but yeah, we're going to speak more about this. Please tell me your thoughts. Tell me if you feel like anything's off with what I'm saying. Tell me if you feel like if everything's on point and you get the same feelings or you don't get the same feelings, let me know. Um, I will be doing another ITC. I'm just waiting on a few things, okay? I know some of you guys don't like the dice. I love them. I love them because we're actually getting real answers that actually pertain to what's going on in her situation. Um, there's other ways to use them, but um, that's the, the way I do it here. This was the last one I did. These were the last letters we got. Um, this is the actual way of how to use the divination dice, okay? Um, but there's other ways you can always, you know, incorporate. When I first got them and I programmed them for my spirit guide to use, I asked my spirit guide if, if they were here. I went like this. It said yes, like right in front of me. I was like, oh, my God. So then I was like, um, what's your name? I did like this. Only part of his name came out. So I said, okay, what's your name? Only part of his name came out. I said, okay. I said like this third time. I said, what's your name? And his entire name came out and I was able to spell his entire name. And I was like, ooh. That's different. So <laughs> um, just give it some time. A lot of people don't like the spirit box, but they got used to it. Some people didn't like this app, and then they got used to it later on. Some people didn't like that app, and they, they ended up liking it later on. Give it a chance. Give it some time. Let me grow with it. Let me, you know, catch a bond with it and build. Just give it time. Everything's going to come together. I love you, babes. Thank you.